Hi everyone, I'm Gina with Country Family Values and today we're doing fried chicken. See you in the kitchen. So the first thing I'm going to do is get some oil heating up and I'm using grapeseed oil here. The next thing I'm going to do is put about a cup of flour in my bowl here. Now I'm just going to kind of sprinkle these chicken, this is thigh pieces, we call them short leg, but um, you can actually just salt and pepper these if you like, but I generally like to get a little more creative with the spices. I like to put... Um, Things like garlic powder, onion powder, sage, basil, paprika, chili powder, something like that. And you just kind of do it to taste, you know, you don't want to overwhelm it. But you can just kind of get creative with it the way that you like. And today what I'm going to be using is garlic powder, a little bit of sage, and some paprika, salt and pepper. And I'm just going to probably add about a teaspoon of paprika to chop to, to season all of this but um, the rest of them I'm just kind of the, with the salt I'm just salting them front and back and then I'm going to add the other one the other stuff just kind of sparingly so this is sage and I'm just I'm going to put some garlic powder. I'm just putting that on one side. This is paprika. But like I said, you can kind of get creative with this and just kind of add what you think that your family would like. Some families like a little bit of chili powder and and things like that. So, I mean, go for it. Looks like I missed one. Let's we'll see if it'll shake them all up. We'll see. May have to redo that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now if you want it to be more crunchy, you can always dip this in like some egg and milk and then reflour it. So what I'm doing here is I'm cooking this over medium heat and I'm going to cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes and then the pieces that need turning I'm going to turn those to try to get it to brown evenly 
Then I'm gonna turn it turn it down. I'm gonna put the lid on it after I've turned it. And so anyway, right now we're doing the 15 minutes, and then about 10 to 15 minutes, and then we're gonna turn it and try to keep it brown and evenly. Turn the heat down a little. And then we'll put this lid on it. So it's been another 10, maybe 15 minutes. And it's looking pretty good to me. So you can always, you know, cut it by the bone and check it if you want to to see if you've got it right. Let me show you real quick. It's looking pretty good. So I'm going to finish taking it up and fried chicken. That's what's for supper. And there you have it. Easy peasy.